Japan calls itself the Wanokuni, meaning the land of harmony. If you're a fan of One Piece, I'm pretty sure you've heard of this name before. However, this harmony is born not because everyone is happily living in peace, but just because we have a culture of looking away from critical problems and ignoring them. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. I watch TED Talks every morning to study English, but when I was doing so, I realized something. It's that although there are tons of talks on climate change on TED, these topics are hardly discussed in Japan. As I've done some studying, I've learned that although Japan is one of the top countries polluting this planet, it is not taking enough actions to help solve those problems. So today, I will first explain the current state of environmental awareness in Japan. Next, I will present some possible theories as to why Japan has been so ignorant to issues related to climate change. Finally, I would like to share my opinions on how Japan needs to change its attitude in order to tackle climate issues more in the future in line with other leading countries. By watching this video, you can deepen your understanding towards the fundamental issues of Japanese society that are connected to various social problems. After watching this video, please let me know in the comments how environmental issues are actually discussed in your country. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on travel in Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. So let's go to the First, I'll explain the current situation of the environmental awareness among the Japanese people. Japan is one of the world's five largest major pollutants, along with the United States, China, Russia, and Australia. The German think tank German Watch publishes an annual ranking based on the performance of anti-global warming measures of about 60 of the world's major emitters by evaluating 14 criteria. Japan's ranking there was 12th from the bottom in 2019, and 11th from the bottom in 2020. Japan has also twice received the Disgraceful Fossil Prize, awarded by the Climate Action Network, a group of environmental NGOs from around the world that selects and presents countries that are backward-looking in their efforts to combat global warming during the COP sessions. In other words, Japan is a major polluter, but extremely reluctant to take action against global warming. Despite this tragic situation, Japanese people are not even aware of this fact and have a very low awareness of the need to protect the environment in the first place. In another survey done in 30 countries found that only 25% of respondents in Japan said that they very much or fairly much trust scientists' statements and research on climate change. This is the second worst after Russia at 23%. The average for the world is 57%, so it is clear how low the rate is in Japan. Furthermore, regarding the relationship between the environment and the economy, only 22% of respondents in Japan say that the environment is a priority even if economic growth would slow down. This is the lowest among the 30 countries surveyed. What's strange is that Japan is actually a country that's strongly affected by climate change. For example, based on calculations from the damage caused by the heavy rains in western Japan, heat waves, and typhoon number 21, Japan is considered the country with the greatest number of natural disasters caused by extreme weather in 2018. And not only 2018, but heavy rains and typhoons at the level of once in a decade are hitting Japan every year. And last year, we had one of the warmest winters ever recorded. Anyone living in Japan is probably aware of the recent unusual weather conditions. Yet people don't believe the scientists that continue to warn the negative effects of climate change. Then next, let's try to understand why Japanese people are so ignorant of climate issues. Among the various theories that exist, I would like to introduce to you these four things. 1. Lack of information and education 2. Persistent skeptics and denialists 3. Perception that actions for climate change is equal to a lower quality of life 4. Habit of ignoring problems due to collectivist thinking 1. Lack of information and education 
the Japanese government, industry, and education has been continuously spreading the myth that Japan is doing a great job in global warming countermeasures. It is true that there are many programs and commercials on TV that make it sound as if Japanese technology is contributing to improvement of the environment. And not once in our education have we learned that Japan is actually a nuisance to the rest of the world. Therefore, most Japanese people seriously do not know that our country is one of the major polluters of this world. How did this happen? This is because there are so many politicians whose supporters are based in large CO2 emitting industries such as the automobile industry. They will never engage in regulating actions that interfere with the activities of these companies in order to continue to receive support. 2. Persistent Skeptics and Denialists As I've explained earlier, only one-fourth of Japanese people believe in climate change in the first place. There are mainly two kinds of skeptics and denialists. The first is the people in the large CO2 emitting industries and the politicians who are supported by them. They of course would want to stay ignorant about the problem. And the second is certain people of the anti-nuclear liberal class. They are hostile to climate change science based on the perception that the global warming theory is just a justification for promoting nuclear power. This group grew in number after the nuclear accident in Fukushima in 2011. 3. Perceptions that climate change actions will decrease the quality of life Regardless of whether they believe in climate change or not, many have a strong sense of burden against countermeasure actions. This can be seen in the results of the 2015 Worldwide View of Climate and Energy. In response to the question, what do climate change measures mean to you? Only 17% of respondents in Japan answered, in many cases, it will improve the quality of my life, compared to the global average of 66%. In Japan, 60% of respondents answered that in many cases, countermeasures will decrease the quality of life, compared to the global average of 27%. It is common for student groups who are actively working to solve climate change to receive hate comments such as, Do you understand how miserable your lives are going to become? Why is this happening? A very large number of Japanese people believe that the current economic prosperity of Japan was brought about by the rapid development of industry during the period of high economic growth, the age of mass production and mass consumption. This is because Japan is the world's most aging society, with an average age of 47.4 years old, and more than 28.7% of the population is older than 65 years old. In other words, the majority of the population holds the value of material well-being. Climate change measures are perceived as a loss of livelihood. 4. Habit of ignoring problems due to collectivist thinking this last cause is the same reason why Japanese people are ignorant of all social problems. This is related to the fact that Japan is a collectivist society with strong social pressure to conform. As I've explained in past videos, Japan's geographical features as an island nation, its environment with extremely frequent natural disasters, and the overwhelming ruling systems that lasted for more than 250 years during the Edo period led to a society where everyone preferred to be the same and not to stand out in any way. So even if Japanese people discovers a social problem, they pretend that it doesn't exist rather than trying to solve it. Even though young people are dying from suicides more than any other country in the world, even though the social structure of gender inequality is being called into question, and even though one in six children suffer from poverty due to economic stagnation that's continued for more than 30 years, there are hardly any actual solutions taking place. In Japanese society, the top priority is not to solve or improve the situation, but to prevent the situation from creating a disturbance. This is because in order to solve any problem, society must undergo major changes and there will always be arguments. The majority of Japanese people fear standing out or becoming a target of criticism by taking part in debates. If you'd like to learn more about the collectivist society in Japan, please check out my old videos from the description box below. Japan calls itself the Wanokuni, meaning the land of harmony. If you're a fan of One Piece, I'm pretty sure you've heard of this name before. 
However, this harmony is born not because everyone is happily living in peace, but just because we have a culture of looking away from critical problems and ignoring them. Then what can we do to increase the environmental awareness among Japanese people? To make a long story short, we should quit shifting the responsibility to individuals, but rather trying to solve a problem by creating a system. Japanese politicians lack the will to solve environmental issues themselves and often blame individual citizens. As a result, only vague slogans such as let's protect the multi culture or let's do what we can do have been raised, but no essential solutions have been implemented. I also feel that many of the NGOs in Japan aiming to solve environmental issues have too much of the togetherness mentality that is unique to Japan. They are trying to raise Japan's awareness as a whole and get everyone to address more environmental issues together. Of course, these efforts are not completely useless, but there will always be a group of people in society who will always be indifferent from environmental issues. It's impossible to get everyone to understand a situation and care about it. If we really want to make change quickly enough to save this planet, regardless of what each person believes, we need to actors changing the systems of society. Specifically, it is essential to take measures to regulate CO2 emitting industries, to politically block moves by major electric power companies whose assets are nuclear power plants and coal-fired thermal power plants in order to expand renewable energy and energy conservation and to regulate automobile companies. I believe that it's first important to the few people in Japan who are conscious of environmental problems to realize this and change the course of their actions. This is not going to be an easy task, but surprising changes have happened in Japan in the past due to people's efforts. About 30 years ago, it was normal to be able to smoke on streets, in restaurants, on public transportation, at the workplace, etc. However, this is impossible today due to the health promotion law that was enacted in 2002. This is truly the result of people's efforts to change the system, not individual awareness. In this matter, there must surely be room for improvement regarding environmental issues as well. Lastly, I'd like to share a story with you that could give us some hope. Gradually but surely, environmental awareness is rising among the youth in Japan. According to a Nippon Foundation survey of 1,000 men and women aged 17 to 19 across Japan, 63.7% said that global warming is caused by human social activities, and 68.8% said that CO2 emissions should be reduced. As they become the center of society, Japan may be able to change, even if it takes time. Then lastly, today's conclusion. Although Japan is one of the five major polluters in this world, our nation hardly takes any measures to try to solve environmental issues. Japan has even received the disgraceful fossil prize twice, and all their actions are going against the times. Despite this tragic situation, only 25% of Japanese respondents of a survey said they trust scientists' statements and research on climate change. Even though Japan is one of the countries that is most affected by natural disasters due to climate change. There are mainly four reasons why Japanese are ignorant of environmental issues. 1. Lack of information and education. 2. Persistent skeptics and denialists. 3. Perceptions that climate change actions will decrease the quality of life. 4. Habit of ignoring problems due to collectivist thinking. Japan must shift from blaming individuals to aiming to change social systems in order to solve environmental problems. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you to deepen your understanding towards Japanese society, please hit the like button to help me boost this video to more people. And my goal is to achieve 2 million subscribers by January 2023, so your help would mean a lot. And please check out our sub-channel and membership through the link inside the description box. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you